Hi Alex, this is Chung from Token. Just want to say hi again, uh, and it was a great time seeing you guys in San Francisco. Want to wish you guys a great rest of your trip as you guys are finishing up your race, and definitely looking forward to seeing more videos from you guys. Hey everyone, this is Martina, and I wanted to give a quick shout out to Alex, who is um, currently racing around the world using cryptocurrency only. Um, Alex, show them the future of money, and good luck. Shout out to Team Crypto um, and giving our support to the guys as part of the payments race. Um, Alex and um, the team, I hope you're all doing really well. Good luck. Uh, see you at the finish line in Amsterdam. All the best. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm Jenny. I just want to say a quick shout out to Alex and Cameraman Joel and Team Crypto. Uh, we are behind you guys 100% and um, I can't wait to see you guys at M2020 at the finish line. And yeah, good luck guys. Hey Alex, it's Big Ed here from Tripkey. I just want to say that we've been following your progress on the payment race. I think you're doing a fantastic job. And I just want to wish uh, Team Crypto all the success across the finishing line. Hey Alex, it's Molly from Token. It's been amazing to watch your journey and um, everyone at Token is, is 100% uh, behind you in, in the final few days. So we'll see you in a few days and uh, I believe there's, there's the topic of, uh, of some debts to settle between you and Chung when we all sync up on Tuesday in Amsterdam. So, so see you then. Talk to you later. Bye. Go Team Crypto! Go Team Crypto! Hey Alex, good luck in the race. Do it for Team Crypto and we're going to see you at Money 2020. Alex, go on Team Crypto. I cannot wait to see you all at Amsterdam. So, love you all. Bye bye. We're Milo and Poppy Taylor and we support Team Crypto. I support a Team Crypto. Happy to endorse Alex team for crypto money 2020. You see, I'm here in Amsterdam already with my big pool in the garden already and my wine. It's great. Alex, I'm sure you're gonna make it, guys. You in Amsterdam. Hi, I'm Ian Taylor with Global Digital Finance and I support Team Crypto. Go Alex, go. guys how's it going myself and the lovely Joel are um, in Budapest at the moment we're just at the airport and we're getting a flight to Venice in Italy to tick off Venice we're only there for a couple of hours and then we're heading to Lithuania so it's gonna be good we're flying with Ryanair and I believe that future travel have given us priority and extra baggage because Ryanair are super tight with their baggage restrictions and stuff. We didn't sleep very well. We ended up like staying up jet lag and watching the AJ fight in the hotel, which was funny, except for Anthony Joshua lost. And now we're miserable for the rest of the day. Anyway, onwards to Italy. Now it's still in Budapest, lol. <laughs> so guys, we've landed in Venice. Uh, in Italy and what better way to kick off our hour in Italy than eat a pizza pizza. I wasn't able to buy pizza with crypto in Venice so this unfortunately is camera Joel's. There you go, asshole, and he's going to devour this in front of me whilst I sit here glum. However, I am going to upgrade us on Ryanair using uh, future travel and crypto. I'm gonna make a purchase here so that ticks Italy off, but then also I get a meal on the flight and then we also get to look like ballers in the priority lane. I feel like on Ryanair, everyone gets priority lane. So we'll just join the riffraff again. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now, make my purchase, and then Joel's gonna enjoy his pizza and hopefully I'll get some food on the flight. Taking over the GoPro just to show you guys something. Look how slow he's eating. Taking my sweet time. This is actually really winding me up. We've we've been on the road now for what like 12, 13 days and he's really starting to grind my gears. I'm not even afraid to say it whilst he's there scoffing his face with pizza either. Travelling with crypto is actually quite hard in Europe because I haven't done I haven't done as much um, like networking as I should have been doing. I smashed like San Fran, Hong Kong, Toronto with a network, but Lithuania and Budapest Hungary and Lithuania, I haven't. And obviously we're only in Italy for an hour, although it says our flight's delayed, which is brilliant, because I've got to wait longer to eat. 
I need to do some more networking and we need to link up with a guy to do an interview in Lithuania as soon as possible so we can get out of there and over to Amsterdam via Finland and Brussels. We're ticking off the countries, guys, that's what we're doing. And yeah, and this guy's just continuing to be horrible. How would you rate it, Joel, out of 10? 11. 11 out of 10 as well. I mean, he, he's got potato on his pizza, so I'm not really that fussed. But we are in Italy, so it would be nice to have a slice. My first time in Italy. Um, so far, my review is the airport is very small. And also, they made us walk, no, they made us get a bus 10 meters from the plane to the airport. And we had to wait there. They wouldn't let us walk it. I saw where the bus stopped, and it was like 10 meters away. They wouldn't let us walk it. Um, I think there might be somebody from Team Crypto over there as well. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay guys, we're currently at the gate and I've just got the confirmation email through. So I've confirmed it, I've sent the funds. Um, that's the Italian transaction done. And now I'm waiting for my confirmation from Future Travel. He's, oh, it looks like it's come through, one second. Just make sure it's this, sweet. We're in priority. Here we go, the flight information, priority, all sorted. We've got priority in two cabin bags because Joel carries loads of bags around with him and he's also the slowest man on the planet. Nice, plug some value, 2019. <laughs> I feel like you got the short straw here because I, I'm the only one that includes my camera person in the vlogs. Yeah. My, my producer, director, composer, writer. I thought I'd have at least 50,000 Instagram followers by now, but... Oh, haven't, oh haven't wow. Gained, haven't gained one. You haven't worked hard enough, mate. I haven't gained one. <laughs> Uber and that. You know, Uber. standard bit refill oops. Just waiting for him to pull up. Toyota Prius. Classic. Duania, we're here. working on the bouts. Oh, nice. Yeah, look at this. Team Crypto! Yes! <laughs> They're looking up at me. I wonder how many people think that you're filming a porno when you bring your camera into hotels. Quite a lot. I reckon. So guys, we're here in Lithuania. We've just checked into our hotel, which I booked on TripKey. Uh, the Congress Hotel, it's really nice. We've got a balcony overlooking the, the town here, the city, I should say. And we just thought we'd like do a little recap of some things which, just traveling with crypto in general, some things that are good, some things that have been like quite difficult. The, the easy things, the good things, have been flights and hotels. That, that's been super easy. Future.travel, Dave there, he's like the best travel agent. I never had a travel agent before, but having one to, that supports you all the time, he checks when you're there, he checks when you're leaving, he makes sure that all your flights, everything's all booked and that you're in as maximum comfort as possible, so that's fantastic. Trip key, with, we had some problems at the beginning with like me trying to log in and all that stuff and overpaying and underpaying and all that jazz. But now I've got used to it and I, I can just like use the app real smoothly. And um, Wirex, it's made it a lot easier and all of their hotels have been spot on and their service has been spot on. So hotels and flights are, are absolutely fantastic now what's what's difficult is everything in between that places that don't have uber so, so bit refill you can buy uber vouchers i've been loading it up most days <clears throat> and using uber all the time uh, which is great however in the places that don't have uber such as budapest we just end up taking the shoelace express which took bloody ages and having like real heavy backpacks doesn't help the second one is those activities so like trying to do activities during the day that's been a hard one in, in Europe specifically because we haven't met many people on the ground. I've seen all the other teams doing like crazy things um, at, like zip wires and all of that but unless you actually know someone on the ground it's very difficult to, to buy those with crypto because these things you can often not book online. If I could book them online I could get Dave or someone else from Future.Travel to, um, to book them for me but you can't. And then the, the uh, last thing is food. The adoption of crypto as a payment method rather than just what they call in, in I believe in the crypto world, hodling, which is like the slang for holding onto your crypto and investing it. The adoption of crypto as a payment method is really scarce and you maybe get one or two restaurants that used to have it in 2016 but don't have it anymore in each place. Budapest had it, which was wicked. I think Lithuania has it, so we're gonna try and check that out tomorrow before we fly. But other than that, it's, it's been difficult. It's a, weird, it's a weird situation. I think the problem with the adoption is 
Firstly, the rates go up and down all the time. So since I've been on this trip, I've gained and lost Bitcoin. It like peaked at $9,000 a Bitcoin, which ended up, I ended up gaining like nearly four or $500 um, throughout the course of the trip. And now it's crashed again. And the value of that to a company and to a brand, if, if I've brought a stake for, for $20, but then um, what I've paid is then worth $10 the next day, that's a real issue. So until, unless you can sort of get it stabilized with Bitcoin specifically, um, or the adoption of a stable coin, you're going to struggle getting those brands to, to adopt that as a form of payment. The second problem is, is transfer time. So Bitcoin can vary so much and sometimes it takes five minutes or, or more to actually do the, the, the blockchain or, or the mining process. I'm not, I'm not really sure on the ins and outs of that specifically, but that can, can really delay payment and brands get a bit suspect of you and they don't let you leave until the payment's completed. So we started using Lightning, um, no, or Litecoin. I can't remember which one we used, but we used a different one. And that was much quicker and there, was, there wasn't as much fee. It was like two minutes. So that was cool, in Bratislava we tried that. So those are, those are the main issues, I feel. The, the small things you don't really remember, like getting to and from airports and eating day to day, and then the race, having these activities that you've got to do and modes of transport, that's been real tough. Uh, the easy bit, though, is flying and, and hotels. That's been like literally the easiest thing ever. So we're going to try and smash Lithuania. We'll try and get at least one more mode of transport here. We've got an interview to do tomorrow. But after that, we're heading to Finland and then to Brussels and then to Amsterdam all in one day. So that's going to be mental. And I'm just trying to rack up points for countries now rather than activities because that's where I'm going to struggle. But we're, we're on to it. We're doing our best. Joel's uh, having a good time. That's the main thing. He only cares about himself. And I'm just out here enjoying the sunset. So uh, <laughs> now we're having a wicked time, guys. It's been a fantastic trip and like, Lots of time for self-reflection this evening, going into the last leg, touch wood, win the race at the very end with some point difference or something like that, who knows. Anything can happen, it's all to play for. Everyone else sucks but crypto, so peace. It's been insane today. Mad play. Ooh. Someone is ringing me. It's Chung. <laughs> Chung's calling. He probably wants his money. We didn't set up the tab with him. He's probably fuming. Awkward. <laughs>